demo here is for the Catan 691 Precision Ion Polishing System. I'm just going to go over the components. Of course, this is your monitor here for your camera. As you can see, it's right now on the specimen holder and it's rotating. Over here is your camera controls. Up top here is your camera. Over here is your light source and your power supply. Okay, then we have the system itself. Up here is all your gas controls. You got two ion polishers, left and right. Then you have your airlock control that can open and close the lid right here so you can install your specimens. Over here you got your beam energy and your controls that tell you how many amperage on your left gun and right gun. You have your timer here. And also you have your rotation control, which is I can speed up. If you look over at the camera, I can speed up the specimen speed over there, and I can slow it down and shut it off. Over here, you got your power, your control to, to supply the power. Over here, you have your high vacuum gauge. You can see we're around seven in the six range. And here is to tell you if you want to do a double or a single beam. Over here is your indicator to let you know that your your uh, turbo pump is running. Over here is just basically to let you know you got pressure to the system. And then you got your test and power reset going to the turbo controller but everything's working fine. Now on the back of this system we have an air admittance valve to uh, get into the chamber. Then you have your cold cathode gauge to read your vacuum pressure and right back here you have your turbo controller over here you have over here you have your diaphragm pump for your system okay what I'm going to do now is just turn on the argon and then turn on the high voltage Okay, as you can see your beam energy is coming up, and then you can see the right ion gun come on, and now it just switched over to the left. It's going to keep on flip-flopping as opposed because it says it's on double here. If I was to change it over to single, it'll only do one side. So I'm gonna slow it down, and you can see that I'm able to adjust the gun current with the as much uh, argon I let, let in the system. So now it's jumping over to the right side. I can go ahead and kind of, you want to peek that out. So I'm peeking it out right now. And I'm going to peek the other side out. And I can also turn them down. I'll turn them back up again. Now we're going to have to take a picture of the beam itself because this camera will not pick it up. So. We'll move this over and he's going to take a picture of the beam itself.